Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a trackable clone stamp tool for Final Cut Pro using Apple Motion. Also, if you are a patron, you can download this effect right now. So typically, to do a clone stamp effect in Final Cut Pro, it would look something like this. You would drag in your clip, and I'll actually shorten this for the sake of the tutorial. Then we would push Option, click, and drag to duplicate it over the top. We would probably go into our opacity, drop it by 50%, go into our transform tool and shift it over so that we can remove this boat here. And then we would go into our effects, find the shape mask, drag that on, and then we would drag our shape mask over the top of the object we want to remove, being that boat in this particular shot. We'll go to the transform tool and click and add some keyframes on the motion to get the clone stamp to follow. And then when you're done, you drag up the opacity and just like that, you've removed the object. It's a very viable way, but I'm very lazy. I wanna cut out all of those steps and make this very fast and simple. So like usual, let's solve all of our problems by creating a plugin in motion. So to create this effect in motion, it's super, super simple. Go ahead, select the final cut effect and leave these presets at whatever, it really doesn't matter. Go ahead, push open and then select your effect source and push K. That's going to create what's called a clone layer. From there, jump into your inspector, find the position settings, click on this down arrow and publish those. We can now push command S to save this. We can just call it the clone stamp effect and put it in whatever category you like. I'll just throw it in this tutorial category and push publish. Now that effect will already be in Final Cut Pro. So go ahead, open up Final Cut Pro, select the clip you want, and I will look up the clone stamp effect and drag that right onto my clip. So this is how you use it. Go up to your clone stamper, find the shape mask tool here built into Final Cut Pro, drag it over the top of the object that you want to remove. Then we'll go to the tracker and I'll actually unlink the scale and stuff like that on this particular shot. We'll push analyze and that will go through and quickly track the shot. Then from there, we just go into our position settings and drag these around so that our object is completely gone. And we can actually go into our shape here and adjust the feather a bit just so it's not quite so large. And then we can shift around our video so that it looks good. So we now have a motion tracked clone stamp that we can use very, very rapidly in Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful to you. If you are a patron, do not forget to download this plugin right now. I added a few extra bells and whistles to make it even more helpful to you. And also, if you enjoyed this video, I have a strong feeling you're gonna like this video about shape masks.